Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. My name is Liz and I'm a part-time reseller in Maryland. In today's video, I'm going to bring you with me to an estate sale where we got invited in two hours before the crowd. Let's go check it out. I thought for sure that was old, but it's not. So I, I guess I did pretty good in life. I mean, yeah, for sure, man. Absolutely. One of my favorite. Oh yeah, I'm not familiar with her actually. Uh, not familiar with her. She did like Goldfinger. That's kind of cool. She did like uh, Midas Touch. I'm gonna. Uh, where am I gonna put it? I need to talk to Jim. I want to show you guys what this place looks like after I make a pile. So hold on a sec. Hello. Hi. Going going I'm trying to find Jim. Come on in. But there's so much stuff. I, I got here. distracted. Jim's here. Hi. How's it going? Hey, Look, I got all this baggage already. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he wants to see the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he told me, and I, I got to send it to him. Good, good. Yeah, there you go. Shame. There's Poncho's flag, man. Yeah, where the Confederate flag? Man. <laughs> yeah. Too bad he didn't autograph. Oh, guess what? We drove through Lawrence. You what? Nice. No, yeah. Well, good. Good. Okay, man. I we'll feel better, brother. Yep. Yeah, yeah I hope uh, I don't know the Cronin doesn't really get mine. Oh, what's this shit? Interest. That's the Mayflower, too. Did you read the book? No, you haven't read the book. I have not read, read it yet. No, I've not read it yet. No. If your book count, start reading. And yeah. You know what I've been I've been on a uh, I go through periods where I read a whole bunch and I go through periods where I just don't and I've been on a I know. You know what? I keep hitting books I don't like that much. Yeah. And I'm just old enough that I can't waste time with a book <laughs> I don't love. I'm so I'm not gonna read. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, the good well, news is I, I'm a phonics I'm tutor, so I could totally help you. Oh no. I, did, I got used to that kid, you know, I, I, I didn't want to do it, and then I got it, and you know what else? You could 
First of all, you don't need light, right? So you know, you want to just land it and you're all, right. it's right there. You can put your head under the blanket if you want and read it. And you can turn your head anyway, and it's right there. And, ah. and, and you can do it one hand, you know, with it tapping. Right. There's, it, I, got, I got the old style, it looks like a page. The, right, the right. old paper white one. Yeah, right. That's really pretty good. <laughs> oh, the modern age is nice. up if you miss it. Oh, it definitely has. Uh, yeah, from three years ago, never even owned a cell phone yet. No, no. <laughs> my driver's license still on was 18. <laughs> <laughs> I got it at 16, but I didn't get my first cell phone until I was like 51. Okay, we're just going to rip these believe in the dominance, so it's going to leave you, I promise you. Either I sell it or I'll move it. Come I on. help keep Marilyn beautiful. You should wear that. I help keep Marilyn beautiful. You our Marilyn own beautiful. beauty. Oh, absolutely. Coming out as we walk around. And there aren't that many sales. So people want somewhere to go, you know? Right. Hmm. Oh man, I always love these Boston Terrier door stops. That's a, just a little better than average one, I thought. I grew up with the Boston Terrier, so I was a little bit. I think Boston. you might have told me that. He didn't have a crash. Uh, my friend has one, and he is nuts. Right. His name is Popper, and he's always popping, all right. I mean, he is everywhere. Yeah. I switched from Boston to uh, English Bulldogs for the last five of them. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had English Bulldogs for over 20 years. I um, I have a Brittany Spaniel. Speaking of nuts, he's nuts. I don't know if I need this. But it's like has so many. You, know, you grow out of it, unfortunately. My dog is like having an infant or like a four-year-old. He wants to sleep right next to you. Everywhere you go, he's got to know where you're going. And he gets up super early, and <laughs> so he's a lot, but I do adore him. He's gorgeous and sweet and snuggly. Oh, yeah, wow, look at that window. Hold on a second here. That is amazing. Look at the wallpaper. You know, I wonder. I think that was redone. I'm going to guess that was redone in the 80s or 90s, but... In the old style. This is an interesting piece of art. 125. Ooh. What's this? A scuttle? It is a scuttle. I love it. That's really cool. Isn't that cute? I love it. I had a scuttle. And I sold it, and I always kind of regretted it. Caduceus. Hmm. Yeah, there's a couple of interesting pieces. This is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's cheap. Ten bucks. Ooh. I gotta see how much I'm spending on my pile I already have, but that does sound like a good price for it. Hmm. Not my kind of Christmas stuff. Look how cute these mugs are. Aren't those so cute? Sorry. Milk glass. Fire King? Hey, maybe not Fire King. Can't read it. Tenmo Rex? Never heard of it. Should I look them up? Maybe. Should I look them up. Look how fun these are. I have no service to look anything up. Of course not. These are a trip. I want those. Those are cool. I want the orange ones too. Look at those. <laughs> Makes you want to have a drink, but it's like 12 o'clock on a Friday. Actually, you know, it's Friday. Crazy. Wow. Beautiful cat. Yeah. Beautiful cat. They got mixed up somehow. Something broken? No. Yeah, I'll see. This one belongs with this ball. 
Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, I love it. Salt and pepper. This would be perfect for my dentist. I'm going to talk to myself a lot. How I roll. What's this? A little vase? Oh, maybe a little vase. I don't know if I need that. Art glass isn't doing that well for me. <laughs> so sweet. Look at this little darling. I think her rose is broken, so I'm going to pass. But these? Is that wear or not? I think they're pretty good. I do like those. Oh, what are these? Kind of tiki. Import. Oh, oh, they're orangey. These are yes. So fun. So cool. Tiki type. These are probably yes. I like that too. Paper, wait, sorry, the light's terrible in here, but they're um, like mass produced. So that's not bad for me. Glasses, come back for those. Oh, look, another glass that matches them. A set of seven, my nemesis. Yes, this looks like. In Japan, no, not really my style. Not really my buyer's style either. Ferrets, okay. Don't feel like I need that. I feel like I'm in an episode of Breaking Bad. <laughs> what do you do with it? You can't set it up? These are kind of cool. What's the deal with these? Hmm, I like that. So we're doing a mini haul before the main haul because these things got mixed in with the different estate sales items and I didn't get to film them with the main haul for this particular estate sale. It happens. I try to make sure it doesn't happen. Um, we're going to start from left to right. Um, this is a salt and pepper uh, shaker set by Sarsaparilla. I've never seen this before and I kind of like this sort of kind of like creepy stuff. It could be for Halloween, could be for your dentist if you have a nice dentist. Um, they do stack. Um, it makes me a little bit nervous when they stack, uh, but they do stack and they're in really great condition. So I grabbed those. These tiki mugs are by Odagiri, which is awesome because I hardly ever find true tiki stuff. This guy has a little bit of a, actually that might be a manufacturing defect and not a chip. Um, they have some decent value. I've never seen those before either. I've never seen this salt and pepper shaker set either, although these plastic canister sets are sort of common. You can get them online, certainly, but I can't find this exact set. And for that reason, they may go online for a higher price than most salt and pepper shaker sets. I might put like $35 or $39 on there with free shipping, easy to ship um, and nice and light because they're sort of rare. These cats, at first I thought they might be left in, um, then I thought maybe they were Tilco. Now I think they're Thames or Tem or Thames. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that word all the time. I hear it so many different ways. They're like this lilac -y pink with these spaghetti porcelain details and rhinestone eyes and gold details. And similar ones make me think I should, pro I should actually list those online. And then finally, I thought these were just like, kind of like poolside margarita glasses because they're this thick plastic but they're not. Um, these, I believe, are made by Alessi. 
Wait till you see the comps for these. Unbelievable. The color and the shape caught my eye. They have this sort of modernist, mid-century modern goblet silhouette, but I think based on these neon colors, they're probably from the 80s. If I find out anything about that, I'll put it up on the screen, but wait till you see the comp on that. So I just wanted to add these things into our haul and we will continue from here. Okay, so it's been a few weeks since I went to the sale, maybe six weeks actually, and I've had this stuff stashed away and I'm ready to record the haul for you guys. That was a really fun sale. That was with my friend, Jim. I call him Jim the Picker. He tends to buy an entire home's contents and then has his own estate sale. Um, and so he's super friendly and gives great prices. And I mean, there was stuff everywhere. Um, I did sell a few items that I'll put up some screenshots for. Um, I sold some Betty Boop, like sort of like tapestry style luggage for $75. And I think I paid 25 for the set. I sold a scuttle, like a coal scuttle. I'll put a picture in of that. Um, the coal scuttle was so awesome. Like, I don't know if it was actually art deco or if it was meant like 1950s art deco, but it was beautiful. And I think I sold that locally for 125. I think I paid 25 for that. Um, and I think there was one other item. Oh yeah, there was a blue train case that I sold to my friend Brandy. I like cornflower blue. I didn't have the shelf of the mirror, so I sold that for $15. But anyway, from left to right. So um, I thought this was really, really cool. I don't know how old this frame is, but I just thought these graphics were really cool. This I think is the actual cover because it does still have the back of the page. So this isn't a repro. Um, there's a little bit of like water damage to this, but I still think if I don't decide to sell this online because of the glass, that it will sell really well in the booth. It's just a really cool image. Um, I love that. Uh, and I'll throw up a comp for just the print, but I'm not sure that obviously that's what I would sell it for since this is framed and a little bit preserved. Um, I tend to buy military pieces when I can. I have not looked up this person, which I will do next, but these do sell at my booth. People like to wear them. Um, there are a lot of medals on here and this person was probably a medic, a doctor, some medical. Um, yeah, I'll have to look up those pens, but I just wanted to show you guys the stuff so I could capture it because some of this is going to the booth. I need to make space <laughs> around here as usual. I actually couldn't find in a quick search. I could not find this particular sign ferret lovers parking only all others will be skunked. I might try that in the booth. Uh, I think it is vintage, but maybe not super vintage. I might try that in the booth. I don't know how many ferret lovers we have around here, but I think that's really cute. And I feel like ferret lovers really love ferrets. Like, you know, um, they're, they're musky little animals. So you really have to be very into them. I keep buying these serving dishes. I, I'm so into them. I like this one because it has different languages on it. Fromage, right? So this is a cheese server. Um, it's just so beautiful mid-century. I feel like this one might sell because it's really, really useful. And with charcuterie being so, so popular, um, not a huge money maker. I think on Etsy it was about 60. Um, these I looked up, I think these may actually, yeah, I have a waffle iron that could, that could go with these. Um, these are about $35 if my memory serves me correctly. They go with like a, like a waffle iron. I haven't looked up these magic cards. I didn't even know they were in there. Um, now that could be that I lost my mind in the thrill of the moment and they just got tossed in there. Like I just put them in there quickly, or it could just be that they were in the box I used. I'm not really sure. I will look those up. And if I find something amazing, I'll let you guys know. You guys probably know more than I do. I grabbed these little books. Didn't even remember I grabbed them. These are probably like eight to $10 in the booth. I'm sure they'd sell for more online, but I kind of try to save my more valuable items for online because of the cost of shipping and everything and fees. I think this is 3D printed, but I'm not 100% sure. I just thought it was neat. So that's a booth item. I think it'll be like 10 or $12 in the booth. Very lightweight. I always buy these, but these are not that valuable. So that might teach you guys something. Um, these have their original boxes. I'll still put them in the booth because I think they're maybe like $10 a piece or so. Again, I'll throw out comps for the things that, uh, that probably warrant a comp. I love vintage Halloween stuff. This isn't super vintage. It may not even officially be vintage and that will decide 
It's 2015, so this can't go online for me. So I'll put it with my Halloween stuff for the booth, and I think it will sell. Um, the picture I'm going to throw up in the comp uh, shows you what it looks like out of the box. So that's pretty cool. I actually do well with vintage cookbooks in the booth and online. This one will go in the booth since it doesn't have quite as much value as some of the cookbooks I put online. Some of them are hundreds of dollars. Even the booklets sometimes can be $75 if you find the right one. Now, I highly recommend you look them up in the moment so you don't get stuck with a bunch like I did recently that aren't really worth very much. And this little teapot was so sweet. I couldn't resist. I don't think it has a ton of value. I do think it has some age. Um, we know that crazing actually comes from the firing process and not from age, but it becomes more visible with age as dirt gets into it. Um, it kind of makes me crazy when people say that the crazing is caused by age. That is inaccurate from what I have been taught. Uh, it does have a lot of dust, which also comes from age. Um, and I think I'll put that in the booth. I, I think I'll probably put probably $20 or less on it, but I think it's lovely. Of course, I'll clean it up nicely. I got a whole box. Check this out of these textile spools. Um, these sell really well. People like to decorate with these. They put hats on them. They put little trinkets on top. They use them at Christmas. Um, and so these are like, I don't know, 15 to $25 a piece online. So I was psyched to get all of those. I don't find these very often anymore. So that's pretty awesome. And then I believe this is Heller wear. This is like, I think this is actually from the eighties. Um, and these sell really well because the 80s stuff is back with these primary colors and this sort of mod shape. If I sold this online, it would be about 35 bucks, which is crazy. It's not that big. Look at it. But keep an eye out for that shape. It's kind of got like that space age kind of look. Um, now, the comp for this uh, train case is a little low in my opinion. I feel like this train case is more like a 40 or $50 one, although it needs some cleaning up. It's got the red interior. It's got this sort of faux tweed, uh, tweed look. Um, but anyway, I... I did get that, this train case and another one from that same sale. And this turns out, I thought it was like a, like a rustic candle holder. No, it's like the lid to like a spice box. So I might just put a couple dollars on it in my yard sale or at the booth and let someone else figure it out. Um, I guess it could be scrapped or donated or something. I think it's cool looking, but I guess you could put a candle in there. Who's going to stop you? Anyway, it's cool looking. Eh, I didn't look it up in the moment. And this, I'm hoping that this was a little bit scratched up when I got it. I really couldn't tell you because it's been in the back of my car. And, but this is um, Fratelli. I can't read that. Alinari? Fratelli Alinari? I'm not sure I've ever had one of these boxes, but I knew that name when I opened it up and saw that. This is one of those Italian, what is lavender clothesline called? Like a Florentine box. So I'm just going to clean it gently and see if some of these little um, marks come off. They may not. Uh, but I still think someone will appreciate it and enjoy it, but they can have a lot of value. So look for these gilded or neat boxes. They look almost like something you might find at like Michael's, but they're probably gonna have their original sticker and that beautiful wood inside that will clue you into the fact that it is something more valuable. And I think the last thing on the table and from that haul um, is this hat. I just thought this was really cool. I have to look up this gaming company. I just think someone will want this hat because it's like this, uh, you know, naturally distressed. I mean, look at the color it used to be versus, right? Naturally distressed gaming hat. I think that's kind of cool. Might be a kid's size. And again, I have a huge head. So that might be a 10 or $20 item maximum. I'm not sure. I haven't looked that up because it's kind of specific. So don't forget, I think I spent 125 total at the sale and I already collected 215 and I still have to sell all this stuff. So I feel like I did really well. It was nice of Jim to invite me in a few hours early. Thanks, Jim, if you're watching. Um, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you get out there and find some great stuff. Maybe you'll get to be with Jim and get the, the early deals. And I always hope that you guys never stop searching. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's pick and the finds that we scored. I really appreciate you guys being here. I always appreciate your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions. And I always hope that you never stop searching.